We all work together to make it feel like that moment in time, and uh, I love it. I'm sitting here today with Oscar-winning costume designer Mark Bridges. Mark, thank you so much for joining us at ArcLight Hollywood. Thank you for having me. Let's just get into this right away. Inherent vice and working so many times with Paul Thomas Anderson. And you be we started together almost 20 years ago. I got the phone call that this young director was looking for a costume designer and we went to Reno and did a very small film called Heart 8. Is that the film that you consider your first big break? I actually think the next film that I did with Paul, which was Boogie Nights, would be considered my first big break. Wow. When you think back to your days on Boogie Nights, and you compare it now to Inherent Vice, how has your process changed and grown? I think I'm a little uh, more of a risk taker at this date. I think I played it a little safer back then, but still just love clothes and love the odd piece, things that you haven't seen, or things that, even though they're period, they seem fresh. And I don't work in a vacuum, you know, it comes mm -hmm. with the script gives it to me. We had Pinchon's book um, to go on to, and then you read about who the characters are, and then you make these choices. And I try to research, and we all did, what was going on in Southern California at that time, and really just try to make it as specific as possible. Are you on set every day for filming? You know, anytime we're establishing a costume, anytime the first time that costume sees the light of film, I'm there. And I love to see ultimately how it all works together for this particular scene. Thank you. Whoa, what are you doing Whoa? here? Yeah. Well, let's see if you're free for dinner. I'm gonna freak you out. Are you all right? Am I? Are you? It's not often that I'll change things because the actors, I don't want to jar the actors. They're just about to work and I don't want to have them being changing a tie and stuff unless I really talk to Paul. I'm mostly there for my director to make sure that they're happy with what we're going to put on film. Do you like the lighting? Mm-hmm. It wouldn't surprise me with film and cinema being such a, a huge part of society that your thoughts and ideas and creations have inspired like a fashion designer. Someone just texted me the other day about, do you have anything from There Will Be Blood? Which actually ha coincidentally was sort of happening with sort of Japanese fashion at the same time we were making There Will Be Blood. And it happened with the artist as well, sort of. Gucci and Ralph Lauren were doing the 20s at the same time that we were doing the artists. So yeah, I, I'm not ahead of the curve. I just strangely happened to be with the curve. So that's, that's good with my pieces. You're in a position now in your career when you can make choices where, you know, you're not having to do things just because it's the job that's being presented to you. How do you choose? I'm always looking for things that I haven't done before. Also, if it's a film that I would go see, I would do it. You're gonna love this. Don't know much about history. When somebody is really interested in costume design and a future in it for themselves, what do you say to them? I, just go for it, do it. Try to do as much as you can, no matter how small or seemingly small it is. I think I was between high school and college and I used to go to the theater and sort of make notes about, you know, ah, comedy and we used a bigger scale of plaid and, you know, so seeing things too tunes you into how clothes could be used. What a wonderful 